Okay, so welcome to the channel. And obviously, we're going to be on a bit of a journey of discovery. We're looking at mindfulness, mortgages, microphones, and millions. And the mindfulness piece for me is getting the right balance. So Zoe's arrived, and you're going to ask yourself, what is Zoe? Well, Zoe is science for everyone. It's a journey of self-discovery. My doctor recommended it to me, and I thought, well, if I'm going to educate you, let's start with the journey. So inside this box, I have got three lovely different tests. I've got a blood sugar sensor, which I'm going to have to kind of monitor how my food reacts. The 3 p.m. slump in the afternoon is always a good thing. I've got a finger prick test. <clears throat> it says a tiny finger prick can reveal so much more about you and how your body handles fats. So that's going to be an interesting little test. Whether I'm going to do that with you today on camera, I'm not too sure. And the other one, which is really important because of my journey with my daughter being so unwell, is your gut health test. And obviously, trillions of microbes call your body home. So what you eat, how your body interacts with food is kind of the journey with Zoe. So I'll educate you about Zoe. I will do these tests, add them to the channel and educate you on the good things and the bad things and how I feel about the journey of discovery. Oh, I forgot. Look, I'm digging deep into this box and there's something else. I've just missed something else. Wow, what have we got? Food, muffins. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, muffins. What did it say? There's a whole lot of science packed into these little muffins. They're designed with precise ingredients to challenge your metabolism, metabolism, if that's the right word, so we can better understand your unique responses to different foods. So basically, I've got breakfast muffins and I've got lunch muffins. And the key thing is, I have to download an app and then I'm going to have to add these sensors, do these tests and see how my body reacts to these lovely muffins. Okay, so I've downloaded the app, Zoe, and there's a lovely menu, feed your dreams, enjoy a life better with gut and metabolic health, improve your energy levels, less hunger, reach healthy weight, feel less bloated, sleep better, avoid chronic health issues. This has been created by the world's top scientists. Very interesting here. So what I'm going to do is work out what tests I need to do and in what order, and then I can educate you on how my body reacts to certain foods. Now, I already know I'm not good with wheat, dairy, and yeast. And as I'm 53 years young, alcohol is no longer my friend. Although, when I was in Miami recently, a client educated me on the benefits of tequila. And tequila is the only alcoholic drink that does not impact your blood pressure or your heart rate, and it also aids digestion. So I've had a couple of those, and they're okay. <laughs> so let's have a look at what I need to do next with these tests. So the app is open, and it's asking me to pick a start date. So we're going to select tomorrow, and I've got some very specific instructions to follow in terms of what I have to do overnight. So I need to fast. I need to have a quiet day, stay hydrated, no exercise. So my sea swim out here is going to be out of the window tomorrow morning. And then I undertake these tests and I'll tell you and experience that with you during the day tomorrow. Okay. By confirming I'm doing my test tomorrow, it's asking me to apply the blood sugar sensor now. So one blood sugar sensor. Have any questions? Don't have time to read. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. I've got a Zoe little strip or pad or something there. It looks like there's going to be something going on here. An alcohol swab. And uh, yeah, balancing your blood sugar is so important. Instructions which I'm going to need to read. Oh my Lord. Yeah, so let me read these and we'll be back in a moment. So he's asking me for some information about my health. <laughs> Complete your profile. Hello, what is your current body weight? Well, I think I'm about 92 kgs, so we'll go with that. 
your height in centimeters. Oh boy, I'm six foot. So what is that in centimeters? Oh, typical is asking me a difficult question because I don't actually know what that is in centimeters. So let me find that out and I'll key that in. Okay, so I'm 180 centimeters. Lots of questions regarding authenticity and all that kind of stuff. I'm white. Do I smoke? Not currently, but I used to many, 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 many years ago when I was a teenager. More than five years ago. Lots of questions. Yes, I've had blood tests in the last 18 months. Yes, I've got them available. Oh, man. What was your result for fasted triglycerides? I'll skip for now. What was your result for total cholesterol? Well, I'm going to have to uh, go and get my blood results, which I'll do, and I'll go and key those in, and I'll come back to you in a moment. Okay, so I've got my blood results. Just luckily that I've had them done recently. So he's asking for my fasted tries, which, let's have a look, 1.74. Total cholesterol, not good. I think the total is, which is the total one? HDL cholesterol, probably one of my better ones. What was your result for LDL cholesterol? LDL. I don't think it's important to have these because it does say you can skip them, but it just happens to be that I have them. And what was your result for glycidated hemoglobin ALC1? ALC1 was not good for me. That was pre-diabetic at 44. Lots of stress and, and, and challenges in, in the last couple of years, so that's not going to be good. What was your result for fasted glucose, fasted blood sugar? Wow, where do I get that number? I have to look, fasted blood sugar. I think I put it in the right number. He just never knows. So there you go. There's my bloods. Didn't expect to have those. And uh, yeah, 3.8 and 4.1. We'll have to look and see what those exact details are. Because I wasn't prepared for this one. Now it's asking for blood pressure. I'm 135 over 85, which is not great. So that goes into this app. Has your doctor ever told you you have diabetes or pre-diabetes? Yes, for the first time six months ago, I am now pre-diabetic at 44. Not in big trouble yet, but getting that way. What type of diabetes have you had? None. And this is why I'm trying to get super fit, exercise, do all the right things. And I'm not taking any medication yet. And I don't really want to. No one in my family has had it. So let's see. No cardiovascular disease. Yes, I've been told I've got high blood pressure. Yes, I've got some medication. And yes, cholesterol. All these really bad things, which I shouldn't really have, but I have. So let's see. So we keep pressing on with all these questions and I'm working them through. Do you find that sometimes with medical language, you don't actually understand what the words mean, what they're asking you. Then you have to go and like do some more research. Um, antibiotics in the last few months, right. Food allergies, yes. Food intolerance, milk isn't good for me. Wheat, gluten, a lot of people suffer with these sort of things. Goals and motivations, oh my Lord. Struggling with weight, tried many diets. Weight's never been an issue. Pre-menopause, not for me. Oh, hickey. Yeah, so let's see. For me, I just want to be healthier. Because if you feel healthier and you exercise regularly, you kind of overcome most of the challenges is what I've learned. Mental health for me was a challenge when my daughter was unwell. So sea swimming, cold water therapy was such a big thing. So yeah, I'm trying to get down to this test thing, but it still asks me lots of questions. Don't want to gain weight, just ask me if I want to gain weight. I'm kind of happy with my weight. I feel okay. Every day I exercise for 30 minutes for seven days. It's going to be 7.30s, wow, 210 minutes, that's 3 hours and 30 minutes, there you go, just quickly. Still so many questions. How, many, how much time do you spend sitting every day? Well, if you're a desk job, it's kind of like lots of time, unfortunately, it's probably a half the problem. Lots of questions, I'm afraid. How often have you felt that things were going your way? Fairly often. In the last month, how often have you felt difficulty with piling up so that you could not overcome them? 
Almost never, but you always have challenges. What's your highest level of education? Blimey, I left school with CSEs. That's kind of like years ago, centuries ago, decades ago. O levels, there you go. It's about as good as it gets for me on this one. There you go. We've completed the health profile. Lots of questions. I'm done. Now I've got to work out this task of setting up my blood pressure monitor. So this is going to measure my blood sugar levels every few minutes for up to 14 days. It's easy to apply and it says it's not very painful, but it does have a needle. Anything that has a needle is always going to have a little bit of pain, I'm sure. So here we go. I'm ready. Tell us your biology. Oh, sensor in the Zoe program. There it is. Your response is to foods. Yeah. It starts a chain reaction in your body. These are what we call your responses to foods. Everybody's responses are different. Your responses are unique to you. Eating carb-rich foods can affect your blood sugar levels and cause them to rise and fall. These big spikes and dips in your blood sugar may cause you to feel more hungry and more tired and affect your weight and your health. We'll use your measures to recommend the foods that are best for your biology and keep your blood sugar levels stable and help you feel less hungry and keep your energy system in trouble. 